fantastic, super underrated Robin. We're not, we're not talking about the thing your college roommate puffs on every two stocking. We're, we're talking about one of the most creative and crazy Robins. In Smash 4, th that's exact. So you'll see a, that's like a big staple of Jewel's gameplay. Most Robins try to keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Jewel would so highly technical with B reverses, maneuvering his aerial momentum, and just make, keeping you on your toes. Mm -hmm. He will burn his books and swords intentionally to give himself more resources to deal with characters. Mm -hmm. And, and with Robin's buffs, this man, this man's a nut. And you see right now, you see the way he's playing it too. He's playing just passive enough, like putting out hitboxes, to see w what will Craftus do. How does he get an approach when I throw out these aerials? Because he needs to make Craftus respect. The problem is, Craftus is not caring at all. He's just he's going not in. Respecting. He tries to read the neutral get up in place. He had the idea, but the F Smash did not hit. Sonic entered the household, didn't take off his shoes, just tracked dirt all over. It's like, what? <laughs> I'll respect you. I, it's very interesting because a lot of Sonic players have been kind of struggling to find their footing. It doesn't seem like Kraftus is already seeming to have a, a really good grasp on Sonic's new We kit. also saw the great performance from uh, Sonic's uh, this past Genesis. And I know this has popped up many times on Twitter. Everybody loves seeing how much range that F-Smash has from docked. Sonic. He, 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 <laughs> he dislocates his shoulders to get that punch off, dude. Mm -hmm. He's like, ha! Gotta breaks, fix it! <laughs> breaks dimensional barriers to throw his fist at your face. Uh, one one thing that I think Kraftus is doing a great job of is smothering Jewel. Robin really needs a little bit of time to get her setup going. He needs, she needs to charge that spellbook. She needs to expect Patronum a little bit. But uh, <laughs> Kraftus yes. isn't respecting that at all. And if you keep in Robin's face, her disadvantage isn't that great. I, uh, um, I did not know Side B would just go under the first shot of lightning and you can see a little bit of a, a rear back from Jewel as well there so yeah. he's definitely gonna keep that in his pocket. But you're right, if you don't let Son if you don't let Robin set up, what do they do? Like they now they have to approach you, you're gonna approach a Sonic? Mm, I don't know about that. The thing about that was excellent. That unfortunate, fortunate uh, weak hitbox to get off the up air led to Jewel's advantage as he was able to secure that nice up air right there. Still a very powerful move. The thing I'd like to see Jewel do a little bit I can can we, he, can we talk? Parried and reacted too, right? properly oh my to, God. That, to, to the falling <laughs> hitbox. It's like, no. <laughs> it's like, um, hold on, get the, it. I'm going to need this sword out of my face. I did not make this purchase. Return Let me just to sender. Move this toothpick away from my head real quick. The thing about Jewel right now is that he's. I think he's getting a little too overzealous with trying to predict what. Uh, Robin has a ton of end lag on her moves. So, mm -hmm. and Kraftus has just been keeping at this mid-range where he's waiting for Jewel to press a button, and then he's going in once Jewel is stuck in end lag. I think Jewel's got to wait a little bit more, at least set up traps from a further distance, because he's getting absolutely terrorized right now. Yeah. And, you and you've seen, if you paid attention to the last uh, couple interactions, too, he's starting to slowly like play just out of range. Mm -hmm. he's, he's getting a little bit more of an adjustment of where Kraftus is going. The problem is the cash out has not been as high as what Kraftus has gotten. That's his jump. Now he's forced to have to go low. Okay. All right, sir. He he's wanted got, it hey, done. If you got the stock, he's going to recover regardless. But if you happen SD, you're stock up. That would have been so close. I like the arc fire into F smash attempt. Mm -hmm. Not going to land right there. Jewel's starting to get it a little bit more, though. You can see these retreating aerials he's been doing. Um, oh my god. <laughs> the. The courage, <laughs> I will say the courage, oh, because I want to use a different word, that uh, that he had to just land and not be afraid of Kraftus throwing out anything. Like, that was super confidence. Get to catch him with the neutral, be good Oh tech. my god. That man had that Verizon 5G coverage. Like, that was ridiculous. <laughs> I'm liking, I'm liking Jewel. Dw okay. All right, then we go into games. We weird flex, we going Sonic. To <laughs> weird flex, but okay. Uh, <laughs> the game was like, you sure that kill? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sonic, Sonic saying uh, what Kraftus is might be thinking right now. That was almost too easy. Yeah, Kraft, Kraftus is thinking in his head, yo, I'm nice. Jewel, like, was, Jewel was starting to get shades of the mm -hmm. matchup a little bit towards the end because he was swinging that sword wildly. Mm -hmm. He was still swinging it a lot, but he was retreating, doing retreating aerials, which is really good. Robin's forward air has a very good amount of range mm -hmm. and not too bad of end lag once, yeah. he, uh, once he lands it. Something I just thought about, too. If you see a lot of people um, online or putting out videos where they're constantly trying to show super high tech, right? right. And these two are definite lab monsters. They're lab monsters. Huge. But you see that they're just keeping it simple. They're yeah. doing what is necessary to win. There hasn't been much style. I'm sure at some point if they get the opportunity, they're going to do it. Oh my but God. Wow. they're keeping it to the proper blueprint to get success. And I like seeing that out of these two players. I like Jules' choice for Kalos here. Uh, in doubles, I always ask my teammate, uh, do you want more space or less space? Mm -hmm. And I think Jewel definitely wants more space here. In this matchup where Robin likes to set up her stuff, 
It also helps Jewel too, because now Jewel's starting to adapt. You see him using less and less B moves. I think a big problem a lot of players have against Sonic is that they try to use their special moves a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. Aerials are the moves that need to get the job done against Sonic, because you need to be able to react quickly with the aerial to get him out of your range. If he's going to rush you down, I love he's going to wait for you to press a button. First. I love his aggressive approaches with the arc fires as well. The way he's been establishing an approach with them off these reverse arc fires. Wow. You don't see that too often. Doesn't get the punish afterwards because very smart of craft is just mashing the up B, get out of that situation. He's got no double jump left. He's going to have to rely on his up B to recover. Wow. He got the tech too. Very good mental awareness from uh, Duel there. I like the movement on that platform yeah, to back him he's up. He's good. My boy knows how to make his movement real nice. Like, I, I have never seen, like in Smash 4, <laughs> in Smash 4, I've, yeah, I know, he does that. That option coverage, that he had good. the roll set up. If he hit the bo a book, he was going to bounce yeah. up. If he jumped, he's getting hit. The that, only option there he had was the neutral get up, and he got away with that. Oh, he hit it with the, I think he hit him with the book again, or, or the sword. He lost his jump on that book, too. Luckily, yeah. he noticed and made it back. These reactions, too. One thing that does help him is the, uh, I think Sakurai decided to hire, like, an intern or something to point, like, a, a laser pointer at the screen. Mm -hmm. Because you saw that it has the uh, it has the crosshair now. Mm -hmm. So Jewel was able to use that to anticipate it and drop through the platform and up air because yep. of it. And also, just to point out, uh, this stage has been working wonders for Jewel. Text, he should have been dead much like a much longer time ago. They have to finally get to kill him. Okay, Kalos is extremely wide. Kalos good, man. He's been teching consistently on those on the side of the platforms. I mean, on the side of the stage. It's really keeping his longevity going for him. I, I truly mean it when I say Jewel has the best resource management of any Robin I've ever seen. The fact that he intentionally burns his uh, his resources with the books just to get those extra projectiles. It, those books, I mean, they did nerf the books slightly. They went from bricks to actual books now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last time Robin, I mean, in Smash for that thing. Yeah, you're that right. Thing hit you like those, a boss. Those things hit like freight trains. Yeah. And you know what? There's a lot of people don't abuse their resources enough. Like, if you have the ability to establish pressure with that type of gameplay and then use the books in your game plan too, like, it really throws off people's mentality. And you see, Kraftus is giving them a lot more respect this yeah. time around. It's like, kind of messing with him a little bit. Jewel's also been doing a great job of using his tricky movement to really throw off. Like, he'll be in one spot, Kraftus will set up that, um, that uh, the homing uh, neutral B. I don't know exactly what it's called. The homing tech. Oh, the home. Okay. So he'll, he'll be setting that up, and Jewel do like a quick B reverse into like an up air to keep it. That being said, he sneaks that stock right away from. I don't know what Robin just said. Yeah, speaking of that, uh, you know, the homing <laughs> tech. And all these new adjustments now you can follow up a lot easier. And that nair, the new Oof. Levin Sword nair coming in, Oof. gonna get that kill and back to even. I love Jewel's usage. Like he just wave landed on that platform there. Like that is not like Jewel's thrives a ton off of his movement, and he's using the new engine and air dodge mechanics to really utilize it. Mm -hmm. That being said, though, I did mention before that Robin's disadvantage state is not the greatest. That could be it. No, he makes it back. Manages just to sneak by the F-Smash at the ledge. He's sitting at 100% now oh, trying to no. make it. And Kraft is committing to try and go for the spike. Not going to die, though. So that he's trying to do that a lot. It hasn't worked. He's giving up stage control by doing that quite a bit. I get that he's trying to end the game. I mean, look at how much damage it. he's taken in place, and look at the, the pace yeah. of the match now. Because he kept committing off stage, now he's at 84% unanswered. He might have just thrown this game away, locking him in the shield right there. Not going to do it, but he gets him off stage. Now he just has to anticipate one movement option. Getting knocked Ooh. down, not getting hit by that right there. Just barely getting by that F smash. You can see Kraftis reach he and try and get this kill, but he's not sealing it out. Jewel has had like three leases on life thus far. He's just waiting for that perfect movement. I see it. That, that could kill. If he hits one more of those off stages, that second L Thunder is really, really good. That will be it. Yeah, Kraftis threw the game away right there. Jewel. It's that it all together. came from going off stage for the dare. If you if you ever listen to people talk to you about the fact, don't overcommit off stage if you stage have control, dude. stage control. That is a textbook example. I get that Kraftis like he's an aggressive player. Yeah. He wants to he wants to blitz you, and he had the momentum. But the fact that Jewel it bit him in the butt. He, he ran that whole game back yeah. just from that one idea of going off stage. So much damage and so much ground was made up, and he has to remember. Sonic did struggle a bit against Sorties in. Uh, in uh, four, Ooh. Robin has a sword. There's still a hitbox there, and it's electric, and it's annoying. Harry Potter <laughs> got that dagger on him at all times, all right, man? No one expects it. Yeah, speaking of dagger, uh, how, how did you like the Nintendo Direct? 35 minutes worth of time to no see the crossing. freshest new coat that we've ever seen? No Animal Crossing. I did. I That might be the game to get me in Fire Emblem, though. I've only played Radiant Dawn, which is the one with Ike on the Wii, I think. And this new one, I mean, this was my Ooh. gateway to Zelda. Odyssey was amazing. I can I I can't I, wait. I love the Radiant series and I I love a majority of the Fire Emblem games, but we'll talk about that one yeah, a little absolutely. more after. But right now, you know, just the way that Jewel 
and like you can see the confidence. Like he's, he's leaning forward. He's got a much different approach to the way he's playing. But this stage definitely much more beneficial for Kraftis. It's you, <laughs> New York players can be divided into two sectors: momentum and play the same pace in a game. You've John Numbers and Sinji who kind of you know keep the game at the same pace. But players like Jewel, they. They're crazy. They will ride the momentum, and you think Robin Robin has to be careful sometimes. When Jewel takes that advantage, he presses it. He'll start getting more confident and start using more moves like that. Um, Jewel's work isn't, you know, Jewel's work is still cut out for him because this stage does give Robin a lot less space to run around with. But I think Jewel has now found uh, some confidence Yo. after that game right there. Talk about confidence. The last like six interactions have all gone to Jewel in an extremely smooth and positive way. Craftus is being sent to the Grand Library right now. Yeah, okay. Craftus, you could see that um, again. We were talking about Me Fighter before. Matchup unfamiliarity is very much a thing. We, there is wildfire in the area, but no disrespect to wildfire. He's it, it, not even close to what Jewel is cur currently putting out right now. And New York now has two very, very good Robin mains, Red Robin and Jewel. So they're, they're mm. both really working with each other all the time, discussing mm. Robin tech and what they can do to push this character to the limits. Because this character got some good buffs, and we've been seeing a lot of good results out of both Jewel and Red Robin. So, but that being said, my man just took a trip to Call of Duty and got sniped out right there. You know, if you got you to exploit that recovery when you can, but you got to exploit the approaches with that arc fire every time possible, and he's going to even it right back up. I do like how Jewel is starting to treat this matchup right now. He's treating Sonic like a bull, and he's the matador. Like, he's waiting for mm. Sonic to charge in before he gets that damage. That being said, Kraftis has also been making some adjustments himself. Mm. He's been being a lot more patient when it comes to... Uh, Jewel opening up his neutral. That whole Matador reference was really good because at the start in game one, he tried so hard to figure out where's Kraft is going and how do Whoa. I make it stop? It no is jump. completely different. Oh, he's did no he jump. SD? He's, he's no, no, he's going to air dodge. Air dodge is good now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ness, Ness and Sonic got blessed with yeah, uh, the range on those air dodges. That, thank you, Sakurai. Thank you. Oh, yeah, here's the your Ness player. Yeah, I mean, I'm in his domain, but Ugh. I just don't happen to play her in bracket. <laughs> Jewel, that was some. That was a risky commitment there with that B reverse right there. And it, what is this man is crazy. You know, we're talking about before about the commitments off stage, but I craft this is just a, he's just continues to establish like, look, I want to kill you off stage every chance that I can get. Yeah. I'm going to go after your relatively average recovery. It did get all the um, new Elwin to recover with the angles, wow, and again, he had another tech. tech. His reaction game has been crazy. He's trapped him on the ledge. That could have been an F smash right there. I don't know what, uh, I think Jewel's anticipating a different uh, knockback from mm. the, the arc fire. Not gonna quite die off the top yet there, but that, everyone claps their hands. I remember that's Shades of Shine 16, uh, 2016 where yes. uh, both Sonics were doing the up airs. Oh, everyone was clapping in the audience. Shine 2016, uh, the, the, that was the year that Dath actually got yeah. top eight as well, right? It was third. That was fun. That was also the, the year of the whole VIP fi room fiasco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was very close right there. Yeah, Jewel, Jewel has to be relaxing on some of his B reverses here. He has, I think he should be using a little more neutral B than side B because side Wow! B reverse off of the, ho uh, the homing attack lands into the back air. He caught him jumping, trying yeah, to get away. He did. And we saw Sonics do that a lot. And Kraftis also very consistent. Again, we were talking about lab monsters. Uh, instantly sealed that out, he recognizing out, he dude. was at the corner. Dude, he turned around. Mm -hmm. He turned around with that neutral B. Did he B reverse that or something? It was, was B reverse. Wow. Yeah, if you B reverse it, you can back air afterwards. That was, that was a level of technicality I've mm -hmm. not seen with Sonic before.